In this problem we give them we have a right triangle ABC with angle C being 90 degrees. We need to find all the missing parts if side B is 305 centimeters and angle B is 24.9 degrees. So let's just sketch our right triangle. Only has to be a sketch. And we know angle C is at 90 degrees. It doesn't matter which one I label A and B. It's your choice. But you have to make sure that the side opposite angle A is little a. So that is side A. The side opposite angle B is side B. And the side opposite angle C is side C. It is very important you label everything correctly. So the side opposite angle A is side A, the side opposite angle B is side B, the side opposite angle C is side C. So now we've labeled it correctly. Let's put at the information we have on here. I know B is 305 centimeters. And I know angle B, this angle in here, is 24.9 degrees. So what I have to find is I need to find angle A, side C, and side A. Remember, there are three things we can use when solving a right triangle. The first is the sum of the angles have to add up to 180. The second is we can use the Pythagorean theorem and the third is we can set up trig functions. Well, in this problem, since I'm already given angle B and I know angle C, the first thing to find is angle A by using the sum of the angles equals 180. So angle A is 180 minus angle C, which was 90 degrees, minus angle B, which was 24.9 degrees. Excuse the bad handwriting. So A equals 65.1 degrees. So I've found angle A. Now we have to find side C and side A. It doesn't matter which one we find first. I cannot use the Pythagorean theorem because to use the Pythagorean theorem, you need to know two sides. I only know one side. So what I'm going to have to do is set up a trig function. So we take the information we were given, that I'm circling in red, and now let's try and find side A next. So we need to set up a trig function involving the two given pieces of information and side A. Well, looking at angle B, side B is opposite angle B, and side A is the adjacent to angle B. So which trig function involves opposite and adjacent? It's tangent, so we know the tangent of angle B is opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of 24.9 degrees equals the opposite side, which was B, which was 305, all divided by the adjacent side, which was A. So now what we have to do is we have a simple equation. We've got to solve it for A. Since A is in the denominator, I'm going to multiply both sides by the LCD of A. So I'm going to multiply the left-hand side by A and the right-hand side by A. So I get A times the tangent of 24.9 degrees equals 305. Divide both sides by the tangent of 24.9 degrees. And that is what A is going to equal. So, 
So you just put in your calculator, 305 divided by the tangent of 24.9 degrees, making sure your calculator is in degree mode. And I got 657.066, which when I round it to the nearest whole number, gives me 657 centimeters. So that is the value of A. I now know that A equals 657 centimeters. So now all I've got left to do is find C. Now, since we were given B with found A, I could use the Pythagorean theorem to find C. However, if I'd have messed up finding side A, side C would also be wrong. So if you have enough time, I suggest you find it using a trig function and then use Pythagoras to check your answers. So what I need to do now is I need to set up a trig function involving the two given pieces of information. I want to use those if at all possible because I know they're correct. And the side I'm trying to find now, which is C, and C, remember, is the hypotenuse, hypotenuse C. So what trig function involves angle B, the opposite, and the hypotenuse? That is the sine function. So I know the sine of angle B, which is 24.9 degrees, is opposite which is 305 over hypotenuse, which is C. So multiplying both sides of this equation by C, I'm going to get C times the sine of 24.9 degrees equals 305. And now all I have to do is divide both sides by the sine of 24.9 degrees. And that will give us C. And C is approximately equal to 724.40 dot dot dot. So round into the nearest whole number, it's 724 centimeters. So that equals side C. And now what we can do is you can check your answers by using the Pythagorean theorem, taking A squared plus B squared and see if it equals C squared. They will be slightly off from each other because you rounded these two answers here, but they're going to be close enough to give you confidence that you got the problem correct.